death. We all die, but the rituals, customs, and traditions that mark the end of life vary between places and cultures throughout the world. For example, during Mexico's Day of the Dead, families and friends honor the deceased by leaving their favorite food and drink by their graves. It's said on this public holiday, for 24 hours, family members are reunited with the departed. Unless that means the return of weird Aunt Susie. Ugh. There's plenty of dancing during the celebration, but none quite like the Tibetan skeleton dance, a sacred dance performed by Himalayan Buddhists that represents the acceptance of one's mortality. Many ritual skeleton dances have never been seen by the public, so they almost certainly look nothing like this. Not to be outdone by the Tibetans, Ghanaian funerals don't only consist of a good boogie, they also include large public processions, singing, huge feasts, and of course, you'll often find people sobbing hysterically, who've never met the departed because they're professional mourners. It's also quite common to see funeral promotions on billboards, radio, and TV. But who's interested in TV when you can live stream a funeral like the Brazilians? This service has been available since the turn of the century, and although it was initially designed for individual families, it's now become popular viewing for total strangers, inevitably leading to the age-old debate over what to watch, football or funeral. However, when it comes to public engagement, Remembrance Day and Memorial Day elicit the participation of hundreds of thousands, even millions, who remember those that died during military service by observing a two-minute silence and wearing poppies. In North America, they also have cemetery decoration days in addition to consuming traditional Memorial Day recipes. But when it comes to funeral food, none do it quite like those in the American South, who celebrate the lives of those that have died with dishes like jambalaya, tomato aspic, and hearty casseroles. But the prize for the most interesting food devoured at funerals go to those that actually eat the deceased. Historically, tribes in Papua New Guinea and South America practice endocannibalism as a final gesture of goodwill to the tribe and the family, as they believed this forged a connection between the living and those that have passed. If you enjoyed this clip, feel free to follow the links on screen for more interesting articles and free courses from the Open University.